just before we start this video, I want to tell you guys I'm going to be doing a Q&A in about two weeks' time. So feel free to ask me some questions on my social media, including Twitter, Facebook, and on any YouTube video between now and the upload, which will be in about two weeks' time in order to get questions. Hope you enjoy the video. Hello there guys and welcome, it's Niran here and today it is time for yet another FIFA 14 Top Tips video. This time I'm going through another 10 great winter upgrade players in FIFA 14 career mode. Last week uh, I went through the top 10 that included players like Daniel Sturridge uh, and the such like. And this week we're going to go for the top 10 that didn't quite make it through, including one that probably should have done but I didn't actually notice until now. So we're going to get straight into it in a moment's time. Any information about the players will be found in the description below as always when it comes to these tip videos. But first up we have Ross Barkley of Everton, a really solid centre attacking midfield. He's been driven a great upgrade. He is from 72 to 77 after recent uh, good performances in the Barclays Premier League. Great acceleration actually, weirdly, for the midfielder and decent pace too. But it really comes he really comes into his own when it comes to the skill attributes in terms of ball control, dribbling, long passing and short passing. I think he should have better free kick accuracy based on his free kick skills in real life. But he's 19 years of age, 6 foot 2 actually, quite a tall midfielder. From England, can only play as an attacking midfielder with medium attacking and defensive work rate, four star weak foot and three star skill moves. But now we move on to yet another attacking midfielder. This time it is Davy Klassen, the Netherlands uh, Ajax centre attacking midfielder. Decent physical stats pretty much across the board, the best of which being reactions. Uh, ball control very good as well, but a very, not just a very average player, but a very average set of attributes which turn into a good player basically. He's 20 years of age and plays an attacking mid or a centre mid with high attacking and defensive where plus three star we put and two star skill moves. But yeah, great across the board really in terms of physical stats. But now we move on to Jonathan Tarr of Hamburg, the centre back. Uh, he's been given a good upgrade as well. I think he's now a 69 stature on the new upgrade but take a look at that strength. 81 to 85 strength. He's got good marking, stand tackle, decent sliding tackle and good heading accuracy as well. So a great defender as well as someone who might be able to get on the end of something when it comes into the opposition box. Decent sprint speed as well to cope with attackers and wingers. He plays a centre back, right back. Uh, he's 17 years of age from Germany with three star weak from two star skill. He's got medium attacking and defensive worry. But now we move on to the man who should have been in the first one. That's Paul Pogba. Just didn't notice he got an upgrade actually. Um, I should have just forgot basically. But take a look at those stats along the right hand side. Strength 87 to 91. Great jumping, great aggression, great attack position, stamina, reactions, ball control 86 to 90. Dribbling, long passing, long shot, sliding tackle. This man can do everything. He's 20 years of age, can play as a centre mid or a defensive mid from France, playing for Juventus currently. He's three star with from four star skill moves as well. Just an all round epic centre midfielder. One of the best midfielders I've seen on the entire game in terms of his all round play. But now we move on to the left back. Relatively unknown, playing for Borussia Dortmund. This is Eric Derm, really, unless you are based in Germany and watch the Bundesliga. You probably won't know who this guy is, but he's got good acceleration and sprint speed. Got a decent upgrade from something to. I think he's got about a four star upgrade. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really remember these. We've got four star weak from three star skill moves. High attacking work rate as well. Can play on either wing in terms of left back or right back. He's 21 years of age and a relatively decent fullback, to be honest. We'll probably fit into any counter attacking team actually as a cheap option. But now we move on to Chelsea's on loan at Vitesse Arnhem, left winger Lucas Piathon. This guy is epic. Um, in terms of his in game stats, he's, he's pretty good actually, to be honest. Good acceleration, decent sprint speed. Not amazing, but it's enough as a winger. A uh, decent ball control and dribbling too with short passing as well and a decent amount of vision. So he's not only a winger who's got a bit of skill and a bit of flair and a bit of pace but he's also someone who can pick out a pass. High attacking work rate as well with four star weak from three star skill moves from Brazil from Vitesse Arnhem but on loan at Chelsea um, on loan from Chelsea and he is 19 years of age uh, Lucas Piathon but now we move on to I'm guessing another Brazilian I have no idea. This is Fabinho the right back who's playing for AS Monaco. Decent upgrade for him as well. He's a quite a pacey fullback, as was Eric Derm. Decent amount of aggression and stamina too. And when it comes to the technical stats, sliding tackle and stand tackle are okay. And decent amount of shot power and marking too. Two star whip from two star skill moves, which aren't great really, but he is only a right back. He is, of course, Brazilian, as the name would suggest. And 19 years of age, currently playing for Monaco with high attacking work rate too. Now we move on to the third to last player, and this is the Arsenal winger, Sir Gnabry. Serge Gnabry, I have no idea how to pronounce that name, but amazing amounts of acceleration, 87 to 91, great agility, balance and sprint speed too, decent ball control and decent dribbling, with short passing being quite good as well, a little bit like Lucas Piathon in that sense, but he's 18 years of age, from Germany, can play as a right mid or left mid, medium, attack, medium attacking and defensive work rate, and three star weak foot and three star skill, so a great player there, uh, Serge Gnabry from Arsenal, but now we move on to Andros Townsend, the Tottenham 
uh, right mid. On the other side of North London, 87 to 91 on both acceleration and sprint speed. Great amount of agility and bounce to dribbling there, 82 to 86, and shot power too. So he's going to be a really fun player to play with. Great amount of skill and pace and flair and can also shoot from long range. He's 22 years of age, the English winger. Uh, can play as a right mid or a left mid, so on either wing. He's left footed actually, but has a high attacking work rate as well. But now we move on to the last player, and this is FC Sassuolo's Dem Domenico Barad. He's actually on loan from Juventus, I didn't realise that until recently. But he's got great acceleration and agility and sprint speed, stamina and reactions in game. This guy must be incredible. Great attack position as well, has ball control, dribbling, finishing, and a decent amount of shot power too. So he's going to be really fun to play with. 18 years of age, so a stack of potential. Can play as a right winger. A striker, high attacking and defensive work rate, but you'll need some good stamina to go along with that, which of course he does have with 77 to 81. He's Italian, can play as a right winger or a striker with three-star weak foot and three-star skill, so probably one of the best in-game players in this entire video. Right there to end, probably Paul Popper is the best, and I'd say this guy's probably a, a relatively close second here, the 18-year-old Domenico Berardi, but now... That is pretty much it for this episode. I'm really hoping you've enjoyed. I'm hoping you'll find some great players who have been upgraded during the winter by EA. Of course, this is a very annual thing, uh, this this sort of upgrade system. And the players on the whole, I think, gener generally deserve the upgrades they've got. Pretty much all of them, really. Um, so leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And comment out enjoying it if you enjoyed it that much. So, I hope you have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. And don't forget to ask me some Q&A questions as stated at the start and now at the end. It's like a sandwich of... Q&A statements. There was one at the start, one at the end, and then the meat and the... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, I hope you have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. But you know what this is time for? It's time for analysis time. <laughs> it says anal.